Well, hello everyone, and here I am with another LEGO Star Wars review for Throwback Thursday, and this one is on R2-D2 and Darth Vader from 2002. So, on the front of each booklet, see a picture of the sets and the uh, set numbers, the names, and the age ranges. So with R2-D2s, on the back of which see some older sets from at the time, and then and some UCS sets for that time, as well as the original UCS Yoda, which at the time of this recording, there's that this fall, there might be a new version of that coming out. Is it true? Please tell in the comments. And see Darth Vader and Taz Stormtrooper, and then C-3PO and R2-D2 together there, and the last building stuff. And Darth Vader's is which on the back of which same advertisement. Then Darth Vader and Stormtrooper advertisement there and last steps. So with everybody's favorite droid R2D. Oh which a pretty good kind of good rendition of it, like despite being all quite gappy. So even though with the older Mindstorms version at the time, did have some filled in areas and special pieces for it. Like, if I were Lego, maybe I would probably add those pieces into this, but probably want to make it more uh, considered as Technic, so just go with that. Or maybe just keep the price down or whatever. But as for the legs of which, do have the like white rods to them, as well as some tubes to the sides like you usually does but they're normally in dark brown and probably stuck with the, these uh, gray ones which kind of go out to just nowhere you do have plenty of those gear pieces acting as wheels and these technic panels you can fold open and you can like get some special accessibility with it like if you press this uh, thing here it does make this rod flip open so he can have his little uh, rotation tool that he oftentimes has well most droids have and to the main feature which is where fold in that wheel there and does have his usual stand-up position and once you press this airy thing here, it does fold right up and does have his three leg feature. So it does work a little bit better than like the one on the UCS version you know, from 2012. And also head can rotate also the same with the 2012 UCS version. But again, a bit more, quite gappy, like good use of the dark blue tubes and those long other tube things and also good use of that uh, trans blue uh, rotation piece whatever that is and can fit on to there like so <coughs> sorry Oh, what else is there to say? Well, if I were Lego, maybe perhaps let these be in dark gray, since, of course, it's mostly silver in the movies. But although these things kind of do work with that, and maybe perhaps add in some bright or trans blue studs to these to make it feel like the other uh, parts of his head, obviously. How tall is he? Well, is compared to his good pal C-3PO, uh, quite small, quite short, but it well works for him since, of course, in the movies, he's a tiny bit shorter than him. And, yeah. uh, what else is there to say about him? Uh, not much, but yeah. Now on to the main Sith Lord of which is Darth Vader. Which a uh, pretty cool build. Like 
for the feet. It does use, once again, use the throwbot heads it's for that, but with the visors in dark black or in black or solid black on them. And if I move the cape, see how gappy the legs are. Like if you try shooting at it, there's like a 3% chance of a bullet trying to hit it. And same with most of the body, which is kind of more filled in. But as for, and if you notice, a rover rider head for the crotch guard. As well as that one representing some green buttons that the other versions of Vader had. And also, whereas there's multiple pieces on this area with the little button panel there. But unfortunately, it might ruin the, the the pieces if you try taking apart, but whatever. And his chest area is kind of mostly a bull rock uh, face mask thing, just like we saw in the Exotella. And I do have the chain there, which the recent Bill Figure version also did have. So do have some of those black tubes on the sides. And so for the arms is, if you like press these little uh, levers on the sides, makes them thrust right up, which they also did with the uh, 2004 or 5 uh, Knight's Kingdom sets. And if you like pull this lever here, it does make the hand with the lightsaber swish up and down, which is uh, kind of cool. And as for how the lightsabers made, made with a lot of the little things with a whole ton of the uh, white number two rods to them, so good for mocking. So Elysees are also good as large parts packs, but as the other arm of which, a uh, quite similar feature, but it doesn't go all the way up as much. But with this arm's feature, it can turn open that and it makes the thumb turn go in and out like he's about using the force or about to use to do a force choke or something and if you wonder on these two sets is why I have white rubber bands is because as I often stated is that over time the older black ones can like break over time so if you're like looking to replace them look for them on like a uh, brick link and whatnot Anyways, and this cape of which also quite neat does have some nice texture to it, like the recent versions did. And as for the head, which I find a quite good build to it, but still using those pieces in red representing the eyes, but quite similar to like you did in Rogue One. Also, you have that large helmet piece, which is the upper part of the helmet, of course, and the mouth, of which which must have got the inspiration for Sidorak in 2005 Bonicles. If that's kind of true, let me know in the comments. And so, for a little comparison, it is with Darth Vader buildable figure from 2015. And the, Darth, and the other Darth Vader little figure from 2018. So, as for comparison is, you see the, the prints of which are all quite the same, but the other two have actual prints, but his are all stickers. So, and pretty much just the one cape. Thing like the 2015 version, but they did kind of fix that up with the 2018 version. And at least the helmets are all kind of the good same shaping, but at least the lightsaber swish feature also reminiscent of the 2018 version. And also the same chain feature as the 2018 version, but no lines on the chest like the other two versions. But they probably just may do at the time, but unlike as for the 2018 version, 
does have some stuff on both sides of his torso, whereas this one just actually doesn't. But you know, but you know, it's a 20 or 15 year difference. Yes, but yeah. And so now on to the final verdict of these two. So my overall verdict on these two is these I think were are were pretty cool uh, Star Wars Technic sets. Well, at least good for the time, like getting one of the most some of the most iconic characters in this form and yeah and also these do have some plenty of good mocking pieces to them aside from Darth Vader's top helmet piece and if he is still had these from back then well hope you had some good memories of them and yeah and that is it with this video please like comment and subscribe and thanks for watching